Let's take a look at the build you saw in the ISA using the Fleet Cardenas Command Dead Dreadnought Cruiser T6. Um, using a disruptor beam build. I'm using the Terran Task Force Disruptor beam, can beam Array. Sensor linked disruptor beam array. The experimental Romulan disruptor array from the reputation. The spiral wave disruptor beam array, or a spiral wave disruptor beam array. Then for deflector, I used the Elite Fleet Intervention Pro Demara Deflector Array from the Fleet Colony um, with the critical severity and the crit chance. And then I used the Prevailing Fortified Impulse Engines from the Competitive Reputation with the Engineering Hang, so the speed boost and turn rate happen at the uh, heels. Then I used the Prevailing, prevailing Warp Core, also from the Competitive Reputation and the prevailing uh, innervated resilient shield array from the competitive reputation as well with the crit chance and severity the hull capacity one's nice too and then that gives you the two and three piece uh set which is uh starship hull capacity control expertise the weapon specialization and that when damaged uh it gives you bonus energy damage resistance rating and then for the off weapons i use the house martok disruptor uh, 360 degree energy weapon, a omnidirectional disruptor beam array, and two more sensor link disruptor beam arrays. Then for devices, I use the uh, energy amplifier battery, the repmatic capacitor, the subspace field modulator, and the temporal negotiator. Then for consoles, I use the engineering house Martok defense configuration uh, console. This gives you the hit points, the turn rate's nice too for this ship, and the two piece is very nice as well. Which is the critical chance, and accuracy rating is not so important, but the critical chance is nice. Especially since it's not a Romulan character. Um, then I use the zero point energy conduit, which is the two piece with the uh, Romulan beam. Um, that gives the critical chance or gives critical chance as well and then it gives you the two piece for disruptor energy weapon damage and it gives you a little bit of EPS and then I use the universal domino console for the clicky mainly and then the binary infusion circuits for the critical severity it's from the low buy store the tech kinetic converter for the turn rate the critical chance and the severity also from the low buy store then I use the Nausicaan Siphon Capacitor for the Disruptor Damage. Uh, this is from the Nausicaan set. Which the three piece is nice, but I don't want to use the Torp, so I'm just using the console from it. And then I use the Dynamic Power Redistribution Module uh, for the Directed Energy Damage, the Clicky, and the two piece together with the Universal uh, Point Defense Bombardment Console which is the phaser, disruptor, and plasma damage. Then I use three tactical vulnerability locators disruptor, and the hangar is a elite Yukawa frigate. Then for skills, I use a pretty heavy uh, tactical focus. Uh, for a more detailed rundown, check my channel for a video. I have a video on that. And then for specialization, I use Miracle Worker and Strategist. The Miracle Worker was mainly for the pugs, uh, but if you're in a high-end DPS team, you can probably you're better off with intelligence. Then for traits, I use a Good Day to Die, Operative, Contacts is for Kings, Fleet Coordinator, Inspirational Leader, Anchored, Self-Modulating Fire, Beam Barrage, and uh, superior beam training. Then for starship traits, I use Calm Before the Storm, Cold Hearted, Emergency Weapon Cycles, Promise of Ferocity, and History Will Remember. Um, I was experimenting with this trait. There might be better ones than this one, if you have something else. And then for Space Reputation, I used the Advanced Targeting Systems, the new Discovery thing trait I was trying out. The Tyler's Duality and the Magnified Firepower, Precision and Controlled Countermeasures with Brock with the Cold Hearted. And then the Active Reputation, I use all the space ones basically. Then for stations, since this is a Fed character, I'm using three Astro Tacticals 
uh, all from the uh, fleet embassy. And uh, Yota Ahura, I could also be using the Vanguard. I probably should be using the Vanguard. Uh, messed that up, but yeah, she's nice too. And then I use a private efficient Psy. Uh, again, I could probably use the uh, Vanguard guy here. But again, he's nice too. Um, then I use uh, Tactical Team 1, Attack Partner Beta 1, Direct Distributed Targeting 1, Chemocide Laser Weaponry 2, uh, <laughs> another Tactical Team 1, which is pointless, and Fire at Will 2. I wasn't sure what I was going to put here, so I just left it. Um, then I use Engineering Team 1, uh, Oxtabower or Oxtabat 1, Mercy Power to Weapons 3, and Oxtabat 3. Then Transfer Shield Strength. Science Team 2 and Hazard Emitters 3. And then lastly, the DOFs Active Reputation or Active Space. I use the Chance for Stacking Stick Crit to Severity, Firing Energy Weapons, the Space Increased Damage versus Borg, Attack Pen Beta Restores Hull when Firing, and 3 Technicians for the Oxtabat build. And then also the Elder Malikitan Warfare Master Space Increased Damage versus Everybody. Alright, I hope this was useful, uh, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and see you in the next one!